Hey everyone, welcome back. Today's lesson is incredibly important. It covers one key topic that is really going to be something that will sustain you throughout the rest of the semester. And that's how to stay sane in computer science. How to stay sane in this class, how to stay sane throughout your professional career, and really throughout your entire relationship going forward with these incredible machines that, that we're learning about. Computers are incredibly powerful and there is a huge amount that we can do with them to change and improve the world around us. I am conscious of that every day and I feel incredibly lucky and privileged to have learned some of the things that I've learned and be able to share those skills with, with other people and build things for other people to use. I feel like that's a huge privilege. At the same time, you know, having been doing this for several decades now, I'm here to tell you that it's not always easy. There are going to be days that are tough and there are going to be moments where you just want to destroy your computer um, and you get so angry and frustrated. And part of that's just the natural uh, nature of computers themselves. They are not empathetic. They are not kind. They are not nice. They're not your friend. Um, they are unthinking, uncaring, completely logical machines. And all that they can do is follow the exact instructions that we provide. They're not capable of anything else. And part of staying sane in computer science is understanding that and really being able to um, be realistic with yourself about the type of responses that you can expect from machines. And that, in some ways, I think really actually helps us, if we allow it to, draw closer to each other as human beings. Uh, because on some level, what we, we can tell what's lacking from our relationship with computers is the, the, you know, all the things that make humans human, right? The warmth, the empathy, the understanding, compassion, kindness, forgiveness. Um, these are things that computers aren't capable of. So today's lesson, we're going to do two things to kind of work both sides of our brain um, and to kind of help both sides of our brain. First, there is some content in this lesson about dealing with error messages. And I felt like that was appropriate to talk about mental health because error messages are probably the things that are going to drive you nuts in this class and trying to figure them out. So we'll talk a little bit about that. And then we'll also just, you know, uh, talk a little bit about how you deal with frustration. Uh, you know, I'll tell you a little bit about how I deal with frustration. I don't know, you know, what will work for you. Um, this is one of those topics where there's really no right or wrong answer. We can just share some of the things that work for us in our community and also, you know, re you know remind each other that we're not alone. Uh, it's us versus the machines, you know. They're not our enemy either, right? They want to help us. Uh, they're just not very good always at understanding what we want and also not capable of human emotion. So we'll talk a little bit about that in the second half of the lesson. Um, I hope this is, uh, you know, useful. I hope this is food for the journey is how I think about it. Um, you are on this journey together. Your life will be transformed uh, by your continued relationship with computers and computer science. Um, it changes you in ways both positive and negative. And so I want you to be prepared for that. Uh, today's lesson is a part of that. Welcome back. You're not alone. We're all in this together. Um, welcome to today's lesson.